In this module, we will introduce problem solving. First, we will talk about what A3 problem solving is about. Next, we will talk about why problem solving is important and the basic steps to problem solving. What is A3 and where did it come from? First of all, A3 is actually the European term for an 11 by 17 sheet of paper. Toyota chose this size of paper for things like business proposals and problem solving because it was the largest size that would fit into a fax machine at the time. About 15 years ago, A3 became known as A3 thinking or A3 problem solving. And that really refers more to the process than the document itself. The key in understanding the process is that it is based on a dialogue between the team leader and his or her mentor or coach. This interaction is how the problem solver hones their skills. As this takes place throughout the organization as a regular practice, the culture changes. How does problem solving relate to culture? In order to have a successful transformation toward operational excellence, the culture needs to change from reactive to proactive. The normal way of thinking is to jump from problem to solution right away. This way of thinking must change through the organization at all levels. This must be a problem solving process that becomes a common language. When most people think of a problem, they usually have too narrow a definition. We define a problem as the gap between the current condition and a target condition or standard. This broad definition will allow for an array of problems at multiple levels. Any good problem solving process will aim to identify the primary causes or obstacles preventing us from reaching the target condition and then allow us to identify and execute countermeasures to the causes. There will also be follow-up and monitoring. Problems can be at any level of the organization. Broad, high-level problems at the company level are not the type of problem that will have a single root cause and countermeasure. Instead, these types of problems will allow a company to analyze top contributing factors and then create initiatives or projects to reach the targets by addressing those obstacles. At the functional or departmental level, we might have a problem like development turnaround time above targeted maximum. At the front line, we have specific instances of problems such as defect in code or perhaps a project delivered late. This is one version of the eight-step Toyota problem-solving process sometimes called Toyota Business Practices or even A3 problem-solving. Similarly to any good problem-solving process, it is based on plan, do, check, act. It begins with defining the problem, breaking it down, and setting the target. Then we identify the root cause or causes. Based on our analysis of causes, we may find that we need to adjust our target. We then determine and implement solutions or countermeasures among several alternatives. We check the impact, adjust as needed, standardize, and spread. Here is an A3 that is downloadable as a template in this program. The A3 report should be a living document throughout the problem solving process. As each step in the problem solving process is completed, it is documented in the A3. After receiving feedback from a mentor or coach, adjustments are made. This iterative process should happen throughout the entire problem solving effort. Now, the problem-solving approach of Six Sigma is called DMAIC, which stands for Define, Measure, Analyze, Improve, and Control. Just like the eight-step Toyota approach, this approach is based on Plan, Do, Check, Act, or PDCA. The methodology begins with defining the problem, the customer requirements, and the opportunity. Next, we measure the extent of the problem and quantify its potential causes. 
This is sometimes referred to as identifying and measuring the x's, which are those variables that affect our output variable y. Next, we perform analysis to determine the critical x's, factors, or root causes. After determining the causes, we develop improvements and implement those improvements to remove the causes and make the process better. We then put in place controls and metrics to ensure that our improvements continue to work.